Yellowstone, a beautiful national park full of geysers, hot springs, and ancient volcanic craters. But beneath its beauty lies a terrifying secret, a supervolcano capable of changing the face of the Earth. In this video, we'll explore three interconnected phenomena in Yellowstone, geyser eruptions, magma movement, and the earthquakes that occur beneath the park. Geysers are natural windows into the bowels of the Earth. Yellowstone has more than half the world's geysers. Old Faithful, for example, is famous for its regular eruptions. Meanwhile, Steamboat Geyser holds the record for the world's tallest active geyser spewing hot water more than 300 feet into the air. Geyser eruptions occur when groundwater trapped beneath the surface is heated by magma to the point of boiling. Pressure builds, then is released in a dramatic eruption. While they may seem like a beautiful natural spectacle, geysers also provide clues about the heat beneath Yellowstone. In 2024, Black Diamond Pool was recorded erupting again after a long period of inactivity. This phenomenon has sparked scientists' attention because it could signal a change in pressure beneath the hydrothermal system. Beneath Yellowstone's geysers lies a massive magma chamber. Recent studies have discovered a magma cap, a layer of gas-rich magma about 3.8 kilometers below the surface. This layer acts like a lid retaining heat and pressure. However, Yellowstone's magma chamber is not static. Gases, fluids, and molten rock are constantly moving. Seismic data and satellite imagery indicate that magma activity is shifting northeast of the caldera. This shift is important because it can influence where earthquakes occur and how pressure is distributed. Scientists estimate the volume of molten magma beneath Yellowstone reaches thousands of cubic kilometers. If released in a supervolcano eruption, the impact could surpass that of Mount St. Helens in 1980 or even Tambora in 1815. However, the good news is that the pressure release mechanism through geysers, fumaroles, and ground fissures makes the likelihood of a major eruption in the near future still low. One sign of magma activity in Yellowstone is earthquakes. On average, Yellowstone experiences 1,000 to 3,000 small earthquakes each year. Most of them are unnoticeable by humans, but they provide valuable data for scientists. These earthquakes often occur in earthquake swarms, which can last from a few days to a few weeks. For example, in 2025, Hundreds of shallow earthquakes were recorded around the Norris Geyser Basin. Experts attribute this to the movement of hot fluids and gases beneath the surface. Furthermore, ground uplift in several locations indicates magma pressure is slowly pushing upward. Uplift is measured with sophisticated GPS, sometimes reaching several centimeters per year. Yellowstone's earthquakes are nature's alarm bells. Although small, they tell us that the magma chamber is alive and moving. These three phenomena are closely interconnected. Magma is the primary energy source. Heat from the magma heats groundwater, creating geysers. The pressure from the magma also triggers fissures and small earthquakes. Every geyser eruption, every earthquake, is part of Yellowstone's breath, a sign that this system is active, dynamic, and ever-changing. In early 2025, Yellowstone experienced a series of earthquake swarms with hundreds of small earthquakes in the Norris Geyser Basin. Although the average magnitude was below 3, this phenomenon was significant. The USGS explained that earthquake swarms are not signs of a major eruption, but rather the movement of hot fluids and gases underground. However, the swarm pattern helps scientists understand the direction of heat migration and magma activity.
USG, SGPS sensors detected uplift or lifting of the land in the northeastern part of the Yellowstone caldera. The uplift of about two to three centimeters per year indicates the accumulation of fluids beneath the surface. Sometimes the land rises, sometimes it sinks, indicating a dynamic hydrothermal system. The USGS is also monitoring Yellowstone's hydrothermal system. In 2025, Steamboat Geyser remained active, with eruptions more frequent than in previous decades. Black Diamond Pool experienced small eruptions, a phenomenon that has caught the attention of researchers. Each geyser, each new vent, is a small window into what is happening deep underground. USGS research has found that Yellowstone has a two-layered magma system, a shallow chamber filled with solid crystals mixed with molten magma and a much larger deep chamber. In 2025, seismic data indicated a pressure shift to the northeastern part of the caldera. While still far from a supervolcano eruption scenario, this information helps predict future heat migration paths. Currently, Yellowstone's status remains normal with a green flight code. The USGS confirms there are no signs of a major eruption in the near future. However, 24-hour monitoring continues. Every earthquake data, every change in the geyser, is immediately analyzed to anticipate potential hazards, such as local hydrothermal eruptions or significant earthquakes. Yellowstone is the world's greatest natural laboratory. Its captivating geysers, persistent earthquakes, and the magma hidden beneath the surface are all part of the larger story of Earth. The question is not if Yellowstone will erupt, but when and how much it will impact us all. Stay tuned to the scientists, because every piece of data, every geyser eruption, and every tiny tremor could be a puzzle piece toward Yellowstone's future.